We're going to meet a child performer who's played everywhere from the Space Coast Symphony to the American Airlines Arena. Welcome back, everyone. I'm always on the lookout for new and upcoming musicians, so today we're celebrating the next generation of young performers. Please welcome Jacob to the show. Hey, Jacob. That's something else. You you got to be able to back it up. I mean, if you if you if you you know, you got to be ready if you ask for that applause. You like the applause. Yes. <laughs> this is so fun. I'm it, really excited to be here. Are you excited? We're excited yes. to have you. Now, how long have you been playing the piano? I've been playing since I was about three years old. That's something we have in common. Because <laughs> I started playing when I was three years old. Oh, look at you at the piano. You're so cute. So, You're a lot cuter than I was. I can tell you that. Now, what made you start playing the piano? I was actually inspired by my father because he's awesome. Is he? Yes. That's so nice. Now, you've played, you've played at some pretty big venues, right? Yes. What, what kind of places have you played? Uh, well, I actually have probably have not played as big as you have. Oh, you never know. You never know. Do you like playing in front of big crowds? Yes. Do you get nervous? Not really. Because you're not nervous right now. I, I, a lot of kids around your age, I would think, would be very nervous, but you feel very comfortable up here. Yes. <laughs> I love that. Now, your mom, Tina, is here. She's joining us today in the audience. Hi, Tina. Hi. How are you? Nice Good. to have you I'm here. Tell us, you. tell us what you think about Jacob playing the piano. Uh, Jacob amazes me every day. Um, when he was about four years old, he was diagnosed with a form of autism. And that was a really hard time for me. I went through a lot of different emotions, um, guilt, sadness, anger, mostly fear for his future. Um, but one day when I was watching him practice, it occurred to me that um, living in fear wasn't helping him. And I realized that I should be focusing on his ability rather than his diagnosis. And so that was really a big uh, life-changing moment, and I don't worry about his future anymore. I'm, I'm just so um, inspired by him. He he's, has such an amazing talent, and yet he remains so humble, and I'm just so proud of him in the way that he inspires other people. That's so nice. That's so nice. You have a pretty great mom and dad, it sounds like. Tell me what it's like having autism from your perspective. Well, to me, autism doesn't mean we're, we can't be capable of great things, but it does mean that we are unique, different, and cool. <laughs> I, I, can, I can tell that already. Yeah. Now, since you love to perform so much, do you want to play for us now? Sure, but one more question. Oh, yeah, yeah yes. Follow me on Twitter? Oh, of course I'll follow you. Are you kidding? Yeah. You've got a lifelong fan now. Jacob's and Piano, J-A-C-O-B-S-P-I-A-N-O. -S Jacob's Piano, and I want to tell everybody uh, who's watching, uh, if you're on Twitter, to go to Jacob's Piano and follow this young man, because I haven't even heard him play yet, but I can tell by talking to you, you're a terrific young man, and you deserve to be followed. Thank so you. So we can't wait. Let's, let's hear it. What are you going to play for us? Um, the Fantasy Impromptu by Chopin. Oh, same. <laughs>
Monica, I'm proud of you. This guy is something else. Mom and Dad, thank you. Jacob, thanks for being here. We'll be right back.